Hey you guys, this is Dr. Edwards and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to our intro to speech communication class. The hashtag that we will use for class this semester is Tarleton, T-A-R-L-E-T-O-N-C-O-M-M. So that stands for Tarleton Communication. You can use that on Instagram and you can also use that on Twitter as well. So this is Canvas. Welcome to Canvas. And this is a quick and very easy lesson on how to use canvas and then also how to navigate our course this semester so this is the student view of the course so this is not my view this is how you will see the course so um this video that we're recording right now will be listed right here in the brackets it says course navigation video and then also i create a banner for each course and so this banner is also on your syllabus as well the link to the syllabus is here, but it is also on the left-hand side as well. And then on the right-hand side, you will see all of the to-dos for the entire semester. However, many of these items you are not able to open yet because they open on a specific date and they're due on a specific date. So it's open and it opens and it closes every week. So it opens on Sunday and it closes on, on the following Sunday. Okay, so let's jump in, let's get started. So if you look on the left-hand side, it says syllabus. So at the top, it says click here to view the syllabus. And then underneath, it has all of the course summaries. So what's due per week. So it opens on, on these, the, it opens on the Sunday and then it closes on the following Sunday. So those are the items and when they're due. Also, if you click to view the syllabus, then that leads you to an external Google document. I love Google documents. Um, I've used them for the last, we'll just say, it, it's been a long time. So I've used them probably for the last 16 years, but they have been amazing. So just to show you guys what the syllabus is about and what the class is about. So on Mondays, we will actually meet online. We will meet virtually. You will not have to step foot in the classroom on Mondays, except for the first day of school. So on Mondays, we will meet online. You will have assignments that you will have to do. And then on Wednesdays, we will meet in class. And I'm going to type on here so we will have no confusion. We will meet both days during the first week of class or school. There we go. Next, we will um, also have class in OA Grant, um, which is right by the library in room 392. That's my contact information. I really prefer um, that you send me email or send me a, a message on Twitter. I respond on Twitter within two hours and email um, within a 24 hour time frame. So just let me know. Also, that is my YouTube channel. Feel free to follow. And also I'll post um, informative videos throughout the semester. These are my office hours. So on Monday, we I will meet with you guys from noon until two um, on, and that's, remember, we don't have class on Mondays, but I will meet with you guys on the Canvas inbox. Um, you can send me a message also on Tuesdays, nine to 11, Canvas inbox. On Wednesdays, you can come see me in person, come see me after class from two to four, and I will be in grade 394, you. And then also on Thursdays, I will meet with you guys from nine to 11. If you have a question, just send a message to me. This is the course text and the course description. If you signed up for the course, you should already know that this information, um, that this information was in the course description before you signed up. If you didn't, go ahead and read it. Also, here is the open, um, this class is considered a free textbook class or an open educational resource class. So that basically means you do not have to pay anything for the materials in this course that are textbook related. The only thing you will have to pay for is the workbook. So I will type that as well. The only item that you will have to pay for is the workbook, which is considerably less than everyone else who has taken this course will have to pay. That means every other instructor who's teaching this course is making their students pay for the textbook, a majority of them, but you guys are great because you guys don't have to. So those are the things that you will be able to know and do upon the completion of this course. Also, um, I'm gonna take this part out because we're not doing the ALE experience. We usually do, but for you guys, it's gonna be a little bit different. ALE, I'll explain that in the course. Those are the Tarleton policies. And also here are the requirements for the speeches and assignments in my class. Late assignments will receive a 20% deduction on every subsequent day that the assignment is late. 
And then also speeches must be delivered on the designated day, but we're gonna do something very, very innovative in the class. So I'll tell you guys about that in a few moments. Then we also, um, you will have to use visual aids and you do have to dress appropriately. You guys, I'm just gonna tell you, um, you can find some really neat, if you don't have any slacks, if you don't have a dress, if you don't have any pantyhose, if you don't have any dress up shoes, y'all hit up Dirt Cheap go there it's an amazing store yeah you have to dig but you can find a cute outfit for under five dollars trust me i wear dirt cheap clothing too also um speech source so you have no excuse not to dress up for your presentations also speech sources you must use the library databases um i will have a training on how to do that for each of your sources and also your presentations must meet the time limit we'll have students keep time just to make sure that everyone is on time within the designated speech assignment and it must be your speech cannot be written out completely it must get be given via an outline all right, let's move forward. Okay, so best practices for my class, be punctual, don't turn stuff in late, use Canvas, use Google Docs. If you have any questions, please ask them. Those are the modules that are in, um, in our course. These are historic modules, but this is basically the setup of our course. You will have two speeches in this class. We will have a dyad speech. That is a speech that you will research with one other person and you will deliver it um, basically in a... You will, you will research it and you will deliver it individually, but you will deliver it in a team. Also, you have your group persuasive speech. You will um, basically partner up with five or six people. You will um, research a speech and you will deliver it. And you guys, we are going to do something very out of the box. We're going to deliver all the speeches in this class with 27 people all on one day. So that is going to be the group persuasive speech. And then also um, we have extra credit. This is the class schedule is organized by week. So week one through week 16, everything in yellow is something that is, has to do with the day. So Monday, basically complete your assignments online. And I will always remind you guys what those are. And then on Wednesday, um, and also make sure that you check Canvas. That's your responsibility, check Canvas. And then on Wednesday, you guys will actually, um, be responsible for reading these. Um, these are hyperlinks. So that basically means the things that are in blue, just click them. Um, a link or a little box pops up and then you click that box and it leads you to the reading material for your course. So this is what makes this course free, what saves you guys $85 um, for that. You guys don't have to purchase a textbook, everyone else does, but it saves you money in the meantime, which goes a long way because I've spent a lot of money in textbooks and I wanted to save you guys money. So that's week one, week two, um, these are the things that are due. Um, we will also have a in-class database training session um, that might be during week one or week two, but I'm just, um, I'm basically reserving that with the library. But basically the class is self-explanatory. If you see something with a blue link under it, please make sure that you click it because it is something for you to read before class on Wednesday because you never know when I'm going to um, highlight a test. All right, and just a pop quiz. Also, we're gonna keep going. During week five, you will have a midterm examination that will be due by Sunday. We will have your midterm on Canvas. It will have, I mean, you can basically complete this from home, but no, you cannot cheat on this, on this um, test because I do have ways to check to make sure that you guys do not cheat. Also, um, week six, moving along, week seven. Then during week eight, we're gonna get into our, um, you're gonna select your speech topics and for your um, diet speech and do, for your speech topics, your outline is going to be due by midnight on, and I'll just put that on Sunday on Sunday. Then um, during the next piece, you guys are going to meet and in your groups and you're going to practice. And then on Wednesday, the, the 30th, we are all going to deliver the speeches within an hour and a half in the library. We're gonna make this work. I've never done this before, but it's going to work. It's gonna be epic. Also week 11, um, you will start researching your persuasive speeches that will be done in a group. And then you are actually doing that on a business plan. So we are going to have people vote on the best business plan delivered, the best idea and the best delivery from this class. So this week 11, week 12, you're gonna practice it. And also week 13, you're going to deliver the speeches. Same thing all on one day, we're gonna make it happen. Then on um, during week 14, you have your persuasive speech reflection week. We have Thanksgiving week and 
during week 15 we have your examination so you will actually get your study materials during this week and during week 14 and then during week 15 you're going to take your examination during that week and your exam your final exam will be due by sunday so that leaves you guys um some time to study for your um, your actual your other classes as well but you guys during week 16 you guys can coast you guys are good to go i have test graded in a very timely manner and i will answer your questions um, along the way here is your grading rubric sometimes people choose to put your your grades on the grading rubric that's cool but that will also be on canvas as well so you can know what your grade is at any given time during the semester and there you go quick simple easy to the point hope you guys are having a good day Hope you're ready for a great, great semester. This is Comms 1311, Fundamentals of Communication, and I will see you guys a little bit later. Have a good day, guys. And don't forget, if you have any questions, please send an email to me on Canvas, or you can send a direct message to me on, basically, if you want to send it to me on Twitter, I would be more over, I would be happy to receive it and reply to it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.